Okay, so in this example, we're asked to simplify the following trigonometric ratios without the use of a calculator. And here you will notice there's our special angles. Okay, our special angles all over the place. So we're going to start by first drawing that little diagram that we had with the quarter circle with a radius of 2. Okay, there we go. Quarter circle with a radius of 2. We make our 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angles. Okay, so we know it's a radius of 2, and um, that means this distance from here is 2, and so is all of these radii. Okay, so f we start by numbering from here on the x-axis. Oh, actually, let's start there, okay, knowing that that, let's change the color as well. This is the square root of 0 because x is 0 so we're only going to number the x's this is the square root of 1 that's the square root of 2 this is the square root of 3 and this is the point 2 comma 0 so the square root of 4 comma 0 so in other words y is 0 so we take the square root of 0 because that's also 0 and this is the square root of 1 for y the square root of 2 for y square root of 3 for y and finally the square root of 4 for y which is 2 and that is this height okay now with that in mind we can simply just use this and answer these questions very simple so sine of 60 degrees we know that sine is y over r y for 60 degrees let's just write it in here this is 60 that is 45 and this is 30 degrees Okay, so for 60 degrees we're using this coordinate, square root of 3 over r which is 2. And there we go. We'll leave it like that. Next question, cos squared of 30 degrees. Now cos squared of 30 degrees just means cos of 30 degrees, which is x over r squared. Okay. So what is x and what is r? That's of 30 degrees. We see that square root 3 over 2. Remember, sine of 60 and cos of 30 is the same. Okay, it's square root 3 over 2. But this is being squared. Now the square root of 3 squared is simply 3. Square root 3 times square root 3 is 3. And square of 2 is 4. So this is equal to 3 quarters. Last question not a difficult one in the least although it looks incredibly intimidating but it's not so first cos of 30 degrees cos we know we've we've done this one in the previous step just without the square this time is square root 3 over 2 but let's start as x over r okay and let's just write a little 30 degrees there so that we know that was what that's the angle we're working with okay so tan of 60 degrees we know tan is y over r see how important it is to know this off by heart very few things in maths you have to go study this is one of them the, the uh, f definitions of the ratios okay and this is going to be for 60 degrees plus tan of 45 degrees so tan of 45 degrees is also y over r but now you can see why it's important that we just write the little 45 here so that this and that is not the same value they refer to different angles Okay, so substituting in here, what do we get? X over R for 30 degrees. 30 degrees, there we go. X is square root 3, R is 2. Square root 3 over 2 divided by Y over R, okay, for 60 degrees. So there's 60 degrees. I'm sorry, not Y over R. I'm sorry, it's Y over X, guys. Why don't you say anything? Okay, Y over X, 10 is Y over X. Okay, so at 60 degrees it is y over x square root 3 over 1 okay square root of 1 is just 1 okay plus y over x for tan uh, sorry for 45 degrees so 45 degrees there we go y and x is the same value so square root 2 over square root 2 is just going to be 1 let's simplify this quickly okay so when we divide with fractions we tip and times so we've got square root 3 over 2 times 1 over square root 3 plus 1. This and that cancels and we're left with 1 over 2 plus 1 which is 1 and a half.